See that? The stuff trickling from overhead? That's our miracle fluid, made from bat guano. Good old nitric acid. No way! That's crazy! What is that? I did anticipate that question, but I'm not going to waste my breath explaining it to you. Let me guess. You pour some of the miracle stuff on it, the stone breaks, and the bird wakes up. How I wish it were so straightforward like a madman on this project. Using every last method I could think of. Over and over. Again and again. It's like something from a fantasy world. Is it all mineral? Are there living cells underneath? I don't have the laboratory for in-depth analysis. So basically what you're telling me is... There are things even science can't explain. There we go. That tired old cliche. The truth is, it never quite stands up to the scientific method. Science is often a slow process. Some liquor might speed things up. No, no. Combined with the nitric acid, we could make something nice and potent. What's commonly known as nidal, which is an industrial strength etching agent. What did you say we needed? Huh? I said we could make nidal. It gets into the ferrite grain boundary. No! Don't confuse me with some kind of science talk. I mean the part about liquor. Wine comes from grapes, yeah? And that is a type of alcohol, isn't it? <laughs> Not bad, you pico. You handle all the neck down work from here on out. That's just the logical choice. Making wine is an extremely simple process. Crush your grapes or fruit, put it in a container and stir it up every day until it's ready to go. <laughs> but if we tried this back in our time, we'd get arrested for not having a license. It's been three weeks. That should do the trick. Thought of something. Underage drinking's a crime, too. <laughs> not a problem. After all, we're both a little over 3,700 years old. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> not bad. Way better than expected. But it's 10 billion times worse than what was on the market, though. That was so easy. Just stomping grapes and waiting around? One step at a time, my friend. Though I hate to say it, our pace will slow down. This will be a course in distilling wine for dummies. Our goal is to acquire some brandy. Distilling, huh? No idea what that means! I knew you'd say that. It's heating, cooling, and dripping. That'll concentrate the alcohol. Don't worry. People back in ancient Mesopotamia were doing this with clay pots in 3000 BC. And if they can do it, then so can we. Now get excited, Taija!